What's going on guys and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to go from your older style Mercedes-Benz key fob to a newer style Mercedes-Benz key fob. I mean, just look at that guys. These are the key fobs which came with the older style Mercedes-Benz model. So if you have a key fob like this with the three buttons, you can update it to something like this. And just look at that guys. Isn't that just a lot more classier than this one right here? I mean, you know, personally, I would swap it out any day. It just gives it a touch of class and also just makes it look a little bit more like a Mercedes-Benz. So, all that coming right up. In order to go from the old style key to this uh, upgraded one right here, we've got to disassemble both of them, okay? So we can swap out the internals. So the first thing you need to do is disassemble your old key, okay? If you haven't done it before, this is pretty simple. All you do is lift up on your key as you pull back on this red tab. Okay, and then that comes up, just like that. And that clips in by this little, uh, this little point right here. That's what clips this key in. So you need to push this lever back in order to get the key out. Now you're going to need to use the key, and inside here, you're going to see this little gray point right here. You see this grey point there? You need to push in on that while you lift it up from here and separate separate this top part from the, the, the body. There we go. So you push in on it and then you separate the key and it slowly comes up. We've separated it now. So now we can just separate the key. There we go. What I did was I pushed on that grey part in there in here as you can see right there and then that part there pushes on that so that this lever here unclips and allows this to come up okay now we have that separated now we need to take out the chip inside there and also the white plastic clip there usually it's going to be easier to just get needle nose pliers and then um, pull that out in one piece but what I do is we need to get a pair of tweezers okay so that we can grip the corner and pull this out there we go okay and that's how we get that out okay what you're trying to do there is because this is um, firmly pressed in like so what we need to do to get it out is get a good grip like this and then pull it out but be very careful not to press too hard to, and break any of the circuit board that's very important you do not want to damage any of this so when you're going in try to get it from the side here and then just pull it out okay you see this little plastic clip there that's what um, locks that this entire circuit board inside there okay now that we have that out that's it that's this whole thing disassembled so now we no longer need this we we'll put it back together put it away keep it just in case you need to go back to your old key all right we can now take apart this and put this in here okay so in order to get the key out we do the same thing here you just push back on this lever and pull the key out. Pull back and key out. Pop the key out. Then we do the same thing. We use the key. We push on this same principle. There is a lever inside here. You push on that lever there. And then you can separate this and lift it up. Like so. There we go. Now that's taken apart. Unlike this, the circuit board does not slide in, so do not slide. Do not try and slide the circuit board in. You need to disassemble this, and the best thing about using this case is that it's so easy to pull apart. Okay, so from here, we need to separate this. Okay, so we just need like a thin piece, and put it in here, and we separate it. There we go. Slide it up, and that comes off. Do the same to the other side. off now we just separate this and it comes apart in comes apart in two pieces okay lift it 
separate it and there we go it's separated now and that's it that's this whole thing taken apart and then this rubber piece goes here only goes one way now if you have a look at this rubber piece here mine's already broken but there used to be three rings and uh, three three points where these clipped into like here as you could see so that it could help hold the rubber in place but uh, obviously one of them is broken here but that's okay it will still work once you put it all back together okay and then from here we need to line this up with this here we need to line everything up it's easier to put it on this way that way it has somewhere to sit rather than doing it this way okay I would recommend to lay this down and then line this up you can see the grooves on here you can see the groove the shape of the uh, the circuit board okay it goes like it goes along here along there and then stops along here same thing with the other side you can see the shape of the circuit board where it needs to sit so you just sit it in make sure it lines up with it perfect there we go and then we put the case back on we clip everything into place okay make sure it all fits in that's it perfect okay so we make sure all that lines up make sure it all sits flush no gaps and then we need to slide these two pieces back on if you have a look closely there you can see there is an arrow right there it shows an arrow pointing down meaning that this needs to slide down so you line it up and then you just push it down there we go do the same to the other side look for the arrow and then you push it on and then you push it down so it slides in like that okay and then all you got to do now is put your batteries in as you can see there's a positive there so we know that it goes two positives and we just slide the battery in now we line this up like so we'll make sure our circuit board is uh, straight and flush we grab our case we know that it goes in this way and then we just slide it on in and that will clip to let us know that it is uh, secured there we go you heard that clip and that's it we now just simply grab the key from our old one and push it on in and that's it look at that now we will test to see if it works and as you saw there the red button lit up there we go make sure it all works beautiful that's it guys that's how easy it is to go from old to new okay and honestly this just looks like a much better case okay I've I've had this case for a while now but I want to do this video to show you guys that you can update the look of your key fairly easy without having to get someone to do it for you as long as you have a working key or your case is a bit damaged and you want something a bit nicer looking then you know go for something like this it is a much nicer look and also you can only swap this key to this type of case you cannot go to the other style free uh, button case you can only switch it to this type of case make sure you keep your other pieces just in case you want to go back to your uh, old case so what I do is I pull this apart and I, I keep this inside there so if I ever need it again I can just simply get it again that's how you go from old to new That brings us to the end of the video guys so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off so until next time guys